Hi beautiful people, today is a very exciting day because I have just received a package and I am going to do a live unboxing. Now I know what this is, so oh my god, I am beside myself. So the name of my channel, Lady Amalthea, comes from the book slash movie The Last Unicorn. Now when I was a kid, about five, six years old, and I saw it for the first time, I was instantly in love. I was always a unicorn person, always. I've always been into unicorns. I still love unicorns. That hasn't stopped. I'm just uh, opening the box. Um, and uh, my love of that movie ran so deep that I wore out the video store's VHS copy so yes, that is aging myself, of course, <laughs> video stores, VHSs. Um, I don't know which of my parents picked it. Um, probably my mum. It's the kind of thing she would have done for me, really. But she probably regretted it when she had to renew it that many times. Okay, this box is proving more difficult. Oh, no, got it, got it. Ta-da! Now, this is something I missed on Kickstarter, but have been lucky enough to get from Geekify as a birthday present from my very darling Mark, who is my very own fave prince. And he is so kind and so generous. I did a, a reading for him, and he knows my great love of tarot and oracle and I explained to him about my great love of the last unicorn and I here is the reading cloth oh my god um and so he offered to buy me this deck for my birthday which was recently uh this is recyclable I'll add it to my recycling pile oh my god it is so beautiful it is so soft it's like velvet it's probably going to be, oh my God, look at this. My very own reading cloth. Wait, I've got it the wrong way. <laughs> I just realized that's the way up. Oh, I've never actually owned a reading cloth before. I did used to read with a piece of velvet scrap that I got from somewhere. I can't even remember. So I missed this on the Kickstarter and I have been wanting to purchase this for quite some time but I just kept never being able to afford it and horrified at the price and now I have it in my very own hot little hands. Here is the box itself. I got the amazing carved box which oh my god it's so beautiful it's a bit hot because it's very hot here at the moment look at that it's like almost 40 degrees and it's only 11 o'clock in the morning so oh my god this is so, so beautiful i could cry um the inside of the box the line like the box is padded probably can't really see that because yeah there's a bit of light but there's carvings all over um i have a few copies of the book of the last unicorn written by the wonderful peter s beagle who one day i hope to get to meet um and here is the inside of the oh my god so here's the the actual book which is a little bound book and inside is the signed peter s beagle card oh my god and it's got the butterfly as the deck back. Oh, this is just so exciting. I'm partly doing this video for Mark because he can't be here with me today to unbox it. And there's no way I can wait to unbox it. Um, yeah, I'm just looking through the book. The book is, oh my God, it's beautiful. And it's in color. Look at that. So Geekify is an amazing company. They they do so many beautiful products. Um, 
oh my god this book is incredible this book is beautiful <laughs> i may cry <laughs> um and the inside of the box is lined as well and there's detail all over the sides and here are the cards i'm just going to have to cut this open that's why i have two pairs of scissors on my desk at all times for unboxing tarot <laughs> for craft it's for craft i was so i was so worried i'd lost the scissors that i'm using right now they're a pair of um left-handed victrinox scissors and i got them through my old work one of my old works and um i was really worried i'd lost them when i was in sydney so i was so happy to find them on my desk goodness knows how they got there because the last place i saw them was the hospital um so i'm very confused so the cards are gold edged of course and here we have the full who better than schmendrick the magician to be the full oh Evil King, voiced by Christopher Lee, is the magician. The High Priestess, Lady Amalthea, the unicorn in her human form. That's me. The Empress, Molly Grew, and the cat. Oh, wait, no, this is the king. That wasn't the king before. Oh, it's been too long since I've seen this movie. Emperor. That's um, Madame Fortuna was the Hierophant. Interesting choice for the Hierophant. The Lovers. Oh, how perfect. Prince Lear and Lady Amalthea. Chariot. Lear fighting the dragon. Strength. The unicorn pushing the bull into the ocean. The hermit. The unicorn by herself. Wheel of Fortune. Oh. Justice. Prince Lear. The hanged man. The harpy, perfect. Ah, yes. The skeleton who opens the way is death. Temperance, princely of peeling potatoes. The devil, who else would be the devil but the red bull? Tower, castle breaking apart into the sea as the unicorns escape. The star. Now, I haven't actually even seen all these cards myself. The moon. And Mummy Fortuna. Perfect. The sun. Beautiful unicorns. I don't know how well they're showing up. There's, the light's a bit weird today. Judgment. Smendrick. The world. Oh. It's the butterfly. Huh, that's interesting. There's a second lover's card. <laughs> Fans of the movie will know that scene. Wait a second. I've just got to the two of coins and there's no ace of coins. Two of coins. The bandits. Three of coins. So this is the pentacles. Um, four of coins. Five of coins. Oh, that's not focusing well. Oh, love Lady Amalthea. Six of coins. Molly and the cat. Seven of coins, eight of coins, 
Ten of Coins. Nine of Coins. This is Ten of Coins. Ah, okay, the Ace of Coins was at the end. So that's confusing. Oops. These cards feel absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. King of Coins. Okay, they're not in the traditional order. That's interesting. Knight of Coins. Page of Coins. Queen of Coins. Now, I don't know if this, this deck's just not in order or what, because next is Ace of Cups. So it's possible these cards just weren't put in the correct order. Two of Cups, Lear and Amalthea. Oh. Three of Cups. Oh, this artwork is just so beautiful. Four of Cups. I've got to look through the book and see who did it all because five of cups. Like seriously, my heart is singing right now. I've had an amazing week. Some pretty good things have been happening. Um, what is this? Six of cups. Cups is my sweet suit. Sweet suit? I can never remember. Seven of cups. Magic do as you will. Magic do as you will. That's what that looks like to me. Eight of Cups. <laughs> of course. Look at this. Nine of Cups. Oh, this image. Ten of Cups. Look, the unicorn in the reflection with Smendrick and Molly. Yeah, I'd say Coins was out of order because I've got Page of Cups now. Queen, Molly, perfect. King of Cups, yeah. Prince Lear. Oh, here we go. Ace of Swords. Beautiful. This artwork is so stunning. Like, they've captured the original feel of the movie perfectly. Two of Swords. Oh, this one's perfect. Three of Swords. Look at that poor broken hearted Molly. Four of Swords. Five of Swords. Six of Swords. Ah, seven of Swords, Smendrick breaking out the unicorn. Eight of Swords. These cards, like seriously, oh, I can't wait till I can get all my books from Sydney over here to Perth so I can reread my beautiful signed copies of The Last Unicorn and I've got to get either someone to help me or get to the point where I can bend enough to plug in my um, Blu-ray player so I can watch my region one, is region one America? DVD of The Last Unicorn, signed by Peter Beagle, Peter S. Beagle, Queen of Swords, ooh, Mama Fortuna looks so evil, she is, King of Swords, who else, can't remember the king's name, Haggard, King Haggard, Ace of Wands, Two of Wands. It's probably going to be a decently long video, seeing as I'm showing 78 tarot cards. It's only nine because there was two Loves cards. Got to read that, about that in the book. Four of Wands. Robin Hood. No, this is this is the court magician. Oh, what's his name? I can't think of his name. Two cards stuck together. Not oh, we've got it. Um, six of wands. 
Seven of Wands. Look at all these beautiful unicorns. Eight of Wands. Oh. Nine of Wands. Ten of Wands. Oh, the Page of Wands. I think these cards are a great representation, not just of the movie, but of the roles that the characters themselves play. Oh, hang on, I lost my screen. Queen of Wands. And the devil himself, King of Wands. This is just such a beautiful deck. And I've never had like a proper wooden carved tarot box before. The cards just feel so nice, like, and they're just so beautiful. Um, I do want to get a copy of The Last Unicorn on Blu-ray, but I think it's out of print in Australia, so that might be a bit tricky. I might ask my very clever friend, Mickey, who's good at buying things. Ooh. So I'm just picking up the cards now. I'm just going to do a quick shuffle and do a, a draw and then read the interpretation from the book. I feel like I'm looking at the wrong spot on the screen today. <laughs> um, okay, so they shuffle... They shuffle well. The cards feel pretty good. I feel like like I'm doing it too low, so you can't even see it on the screen. But look at like every app uses the um, camera differently. Um, program. I don't use the phone too much. Um, yeah, every every program uses the picture too differently. Um, and I can never remember like how much image you get in some things versus other things. So I feel like, yeah, I'm not um, doing a good job of like showing cards. I think my dog just moved my walker behind me. Okay, so we have drawn the Nine of Cups with the skeleton. So let us see what the book says. Nine of Cups, coins, coins, ones, cups. Nine of Cups. Look at that. All right. The skeleton, content, rests upon a golden mantle in a luxurious gilded hall. The nine cups are displayed prominently behind him, vary in shape and size, bedecked with gemstones fit for a king. Although the glass he drinks from is actually empty, he remembers the taste of wine from his former life. No grand plans to return to the land of the living for this one, for the only, only for the chance to indulge in a simple pleasure he is own is no longer capable of truly experiencing. Something you've been wishing for in the secret recesses of your heart has come either come true or is on the verge of doing so. Enjoy this time of contentment and pleasure allowing yourself to indulge or splurge a little but be sure to cherish what you have in times of plenty for this satisfaction may only be temporary a sense of gratitude will help you appreciate what you already have well now i don't know if this resonates for anyone watching but it definitely resonates for me um something i've been wanting to happen for quite some time has happened and um, I don't know if I should go into detail on this channel, um, just for privacy, but, um, new beginnings, let's just say that. Um, and I'm very happy and who knows what will happen. Um, so for me, that card really resonated. That's something I've been waiting for is happening, um, slowly but surely. Uh, so yeah, I'm very happy. I just wanted to read out um, this from the book, The Card Portraits by Major Arcana, Adrian Tana, uh, Tama Arachne, Suit of Wands, Sarah Fenton, Suit of Cups, Holly Fel Federman, Suit of Swords, Medusa Dollmaker and Adrian Tama Arachne. Suit of Coins, Anika Burrell. This and this book, this book just feels so nice. Oh wait, I'm gonna look up why there's two lovers cards. 
Lovers, lovers, lovers. Lovers. The lovers alternate. So I guess the two cards have different meanings, seeing as there's two lovers cards. There's one with Lear and Amalthea. Just quickly reading what it says. Okay. The two cards don't have the exact same meaning. They're similar in meanings. Uh, so I find it interesting that they've decided to include two lovers cards when no other card has a duplicate. But, I mean, the artwork's pretty great and I would have been sad if the oak tree hadn't been included because, let's face it, she's a fabulous character and there is nothing quite like her, um, her oaky embrace in that scene with Smendrick. So, oh my goodness. Yeah, I think I'll definitely have to rewatch the movie because it's, it's been a while since I've watched it. Not that I haven't watched it hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. It's probably one of my wa most watched movies ever. I just, I love it beyond measure. It is such a huge part of who I am and how, what shaped me as a child. Just the, the magic and the beauty and the love and oh my goodness. So Geekify, I think, have done a great job um, in work with Peter S. Beagle in putting this deck together. And this will definitely have a special place in my heart and my collection. And just the work they have done on this box is just out of this world gorgeous. Like, see the detail with the unicorn and the butterfly and the, the, the knots all around the edging? It's just gorgeous. Like, it's a nice solid box. And it's not, it's not too heavy. Like, I wasn't sure if it would be, like, super heavy, but... No, it's 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 pretty good, and the cloth. Where did I put it? Buried under the bubble wrap. I really need to tidy up my desks. Um, being a slightly immobile does not help. I'm getting an X-ray next week to find out where I am with mobility. So there's going for that. But um, yeah. So I just really want to thank Mark for my beautiful birthday present. I love you so much, and I cannot wait to see you. I miss you, and I hope things improve. And to everyone else watching this video, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, thank you to everyone who subscribes and likes and all that kind of thing. It's just so nice to see that people are actually watching and it's not just me rambling at my computer for no apparent reason. So um, massive thank you. So much love. And oh, I'm beside myself right now. I'm so happy. <laughs> thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye.